Good morning, everyone, online and offline with us. Today, we have gathered here for the management conclave with industry insiders. Uh, we have with us a very well known Mr. King Shub Baduri, founder and director, Learning Kosh, global career counselor, visiting professor at IME and SIBM. So, he will be speaking with us today on industry demands of skilled managers and expectations and also importance of MBA as one of the strongest higher degrees in building careers of a person. Um, secondly, we have on our left, Mr. Dilip Achtani, who is director CMEDU School of Pro Expressionism, educator, photographer, and sound engineer. He will be speaking on MBA in media and entertainment as a niche course. And one of the niche understanding and skills will have unlimited opportunities in the ever evolving m &A industry. Uh, we have with us Anup Safekar on the right. He is the studio head for Toolbox Studios. He will be focusing on the rationale behind the course, need of the managerial workforce for the media and entertainment industry. And he will also be highlighting the struggle of a media house that uh, goes through with the lack of trained media managers. Uh, we have online with us Mr. Puneet Samtani. He is educator, sound engineer in film and advertising and music industry. And he will be today with us speaking on emphasis on the need of ready-made managers in the media and entertainment industry and how an MBA in media and industry entertainment will be fulfilling this. So uh, welcome everyone on board. Thank and you. I'm Thank Mandar you. Patil, your host for the Conclave. So let's start with our first question for today. Uh, the question is to Mr. Kengshu. Uh, like Mr. Vaduri, uh, you have been teaching and interacting with the best of the brains at IIMs. We would like you to understand why one, whether it is in the IIM or anywhere else, get an MBA degree. Very interesting perspective, though. Uh, I would like to you know, take the story not from the classroom, but I would like to relate the story from uh, the final destination as the corporate. So if you look at a corporate journey, I think what is uh, the most desirable thing that any of these corporates are heading towards. They're moving towards uh, proper utilization of the left as well as the right brain. And when we talk about a proper utilization of the left brain and the right brain, having said that two important skills which are coming up absolutely topmost, one being creativity and the other being logical and analytical thinking. Uh, when you talk about an MBA, I think it's much beyond a course as such, and it is more like a life lesson that people ideally take. So uh, be it IAM or be it any other institute which offers an MBA, I think the primary focus is that we got to make people industry ready. Uh, talking about the corporates, the jobs that we start when we you know just begin with a career, I think it's more to do with the technical skills for which that we are ideally hired. As you move into the middle level management or top level management, because with my years of experience, what I have seen, you take out the pen from uh, you know, the person's hand, you take out the laptop from their hand, you take out their machines from their hand, which they are so proficient in, and you just give them people to manage. And you know, they turn out to be pathetic in a lot of cases. So probably uh, you know, that entire acumen of dealing with people, you got to realize that as you move up in the top management, I think one of the major aspects that you got to deal with, how good you must be in your functional area, it makes no difference at all. Now, where does this come? And as I said, with the left brain and the right brain, as we all know, I think one of the interesting aspects about this course, which you know, I felt here is that it does a justice between both because in MBA, we normally focus on the logical and analytical thinking. What we are not harping upon or what we are not able to encourage much is in terms of the creativity and the innovation, which also needs to come in along with it. So when you look at a blend of a media coming along with it, I fantastically you know, see that this is a really upcoming area where doing a justice and balancing out both between the left brain and the right brain. So I think MBAs are more of a life lesson because it's of peer learning. So you learn from people, you learn through practicals and that's where the entire exposure is so it's a way different thing as compared to just doing a normal graduation to doing an mba does it give the degree holders a leave away in opting for the best job absolutely undoubtedly i mean see when i am looking for hiring somebody what would i look to hire for i would look for hiring somebody who is more industry ready i would i would look for somebody you know who already knows because i do not have time to train 
as a corporate today please try and understand all of us we're moving with a huge deadline we're moving on with you know such uh, steep targets it's absolutely not possible where you know we actually go ahead in terms of training people who only know the technical so probably somewhere down the line you will have a bunch of you know technical team that you'll have to manage but who's going to manage it so finally that management is a ready made thing which is coming out from the mba so i think in any organization okay leave that aside the second part of it which we can also talk about is you know look at the number of startups that we are getting in the country i mean the entrepreneurial focus is totally there with an mba there are so many people who why are people opting for executive mbas another reason for opting for executive mbas is who have actually been feeling that there is a dearth because they they're not you know able to fulfill those overall management requirements which are there and i think that's the reason that definitely 100% more than 100% rather i would say that it's definitely giving you a leeway so i uh, second you on that and we all know that uh, everyone in the mba after doing mba they one shot sure way think of getting better salary packages uh, or uh, what are one's other aspects where the course polish is on okay uh, well, that's that's a very interesting thing i would rather say that there are two uh, thinking skills which we ideally focus on that we need to you know rear up through an mba i know if i'm using a technical term but then uh, any kind of a reasoning that we go about in terms of putting taking a decision making a pro- you know a problem solving i think we always need a blend of a little bit of uh, you know inductive and deductive reasoning before we go ahead in terms of taking a decision and when i say an inductive or a deductive reasoning these are things which essentially will you know be inculcated in you as you go through an mba because a person who's not gone gone through an mba because it's all practical it's like all case studies it's all you know to do with what you are actually going to do in the future uh, way away from a rote learning that we normally do and the rote learning is probably where you know even uh, you know today a lot of our graduation institutes are still stuck to the rote learning so mba brings in a huge difference thereby in terms of bringing in a skill which is absolutely a life lesson for you yeah so yeah my next question is to mr dilip achtani uh, you have seen students grow gra- grasp and gain why did you start this course mba in mne thanks manar so um, i think there's a little history to this uh, question uh, we've been in the mne space for the last 14 years and uh, and primarily we focused on the skill based programs like sound photography where students you know uh, use their skill their creativity to create something uh, and over the past few years we've realized that the students that have passed out in the industry have you know uh gone up and taken up positions where they are now uh you know hiring our students or you know they are playing a role of a manager even while they are playing the role of a manager the the creative side of things have always come first uh and also when we recruit we kind of realize that you know there's a huge gap between the the creative uh people and the requirements of a corporate or a company when it comes to being a manager a uh, simple example 10 years back creative professionals say a filmmaker or a photographer uh, would never much use excel for example just a very small example that why should i use excel i am a creative guy for example but now the lines are blurred uh, everybody has to manage a team everybody has to manage uh people earlier we were looking at domestic projects projects which were purely working offline where everybody was in the same city now people are working across the globe there are projects that happen which are outsourced and a lot of focus is on communication uh talk about game development talk about visual effects where the client is in uh, canada toronto uh london and the students have to communicate write emails talk to them creative is a part of their job but a major part of the job that has now developed uh is communication and that is where we realize that okay we've got creative individuals and we also now need to look at managers who can talk to creative individuals they may or may not be creative themselves so and this is one industry we thought that you know is absolutely not tapped or targeted in your regular mbas so so yeah and you know i've got uh, mr anup mr puneet who could you know maybe add on on this a little later because they're from the industry and they may also face a similar uh, uh, challenge 
so yeah uh, it's a fairly new concept for everyone else but yeah how mba mne is different from the traditional mba so i wouldn't say it's different in any way it's an mba uh, we teach the students to manage business become a manager so i wouldn't put it as different i'd rather say it is a little way ahead and i would say it is the need of the hour because we are looking at an industry where uh, you know international studios uh, disney's and uh, all hollywood production houses who cater to you know post production side of things where a lot of work is being outsourced to india are being set up in bangalore and mumbai and all these cities and there is a huge gap to provide people who could handle these positions so we are just trying to you know uh provide a solution in a space where there is no current solution right now so a lot of technical people a lot of creative people are taking up roles of managers so we are just trying to you know simplify things for people uh usually you know a creative or um, an artist uh, who's working in the post production domain for example would spend 10 years in the hierarchy and eventually climb up to become a manager and learn a lot of skills on the job in the span of 10 to 12 years uh what we we are trying to do is basically apart from the creative side of things which they will possess we are trying to focus on the managerial aspects in these two years so we're just giving an add on into an existing mba so mba doesn't change it's just a little more than an mba so uh, let's take an example where uh, if suppose someone is already working in a media industry as a technical person who is suppose a sound engineer or a photographer for that say uh, he will still have to work in a media and entertainment industry only or can he pursue something uh, like management roles in any other industry as well so yeah uh, that's a very good question if somebody is a technical or a creative person and has the years of experience behind him uh, the reason to do an mba is obviously to uh, you know get a position in a managerial domain and obviously grow as a human being as a uh, a workforce in a in the industry so obviously this being an mba this will not only open up doors in the mne domain but will also open up doors in non mne domains now that is a that is a uh, question that the student has to answer for himself whether he wants to go into the other industries or utilize his skills that he's gained over the years as a technician in the industry of mne and scale up in the um, hierarchy so but the options are open for both sides if so, i may just add into uh, the point here now if you would look at the composition of mba students in most of these you know top institutes I mean, we we really have a varied uh, composition of people, and when you talk about this varied composition of people, somewhere you have a doctor who's completed, you know, their MBBS, and then they've come, you know, doing a, a MBA there. Somewhere you have an engineer. Somewhere you have a guy who is superb in maths, who's done and completed his BSc, and then come here. Somebody who spent five years, six years in a particular industry, and then come here. so you know the entire thing is according to me if you would ask mba is like a nullifier to your graduation in certain aspects so whatever that you have done even if you want to change your line or change your track mba gives you a platform and whatever mba that you're doing it actually gives you that platform from where you can thereby shift so if in case you're now doing a customized mba the even better aspect of it is that you know you still hold on to your line the passion that you have the love that you have and then from there you can also have the chances of diversifying into any other area that could be finance that could be operations that could be hr that could be marketing which is all open completely correct uh, and also just sorry uh, to add i would like Uh, a little perspective from anup and puneet as well because they've been veterans in the industry 16 years and uh, 20 years uh, and i would like to understand from them as, as well how the industry has kind of changed from being just an artist to you know adding the manager's uh, uh, aspect uh, anup if yeah. you so <clears throat> i would like to tell about my journey because i started my career as an artist so last around 10 to 12 years i working as an artist and when i got a responsibility 
for the managing the project or the project manager that time that was a struggle and mind because how to communicate how to manage the project because before that i receive a uh, project plan or project deadline from managers and now my role has changed and i need to plan the entire projects and set up the deadline communicate with the client so that struggle was there and it took a lot of time to get into the, that role and uh, to proper working so yeah definitely that is a good learning of me and that time there is a no courses and you have to learn and job and it took a lot of time to uh, get into it uh, one benef uh, benefit for me because i work on creative side so there is a uh, uh, i understand the pipeline of the creative side so it helped me to work on the production side and i guess this uh, course which uh, mba which uh, specifically for the mne so we cover the creative aspect on high level as well as the production aspect so that is a good uh, mix and match and obviously it is definitely helpful uh, for us punit if you would like to add on hey guys hi good morning uh, so yeah thanks for having me here so after li listening to so many uh, you know perspectives i i went back in time and uh, was uh, thinking about how it started so uh, i started working in the sound industry in bombay back in 2006 uh, you know where things were very different uh, it was not so much of a corporate culture there were individual people running production houses making movies making ads uh, you know family businesses uh, uh, you know uh, people who had been doing it for years and then suddenly you, you know you went into a space where things were opening up corporates were coming in you had the viacom 18s you had uh, the percept picture company you had you know various companies like that coming in and uh, what we used to always you know uh, face is we would deal with producers who uh, you know didn't understand uh, the media space uh, so wherein because of that you know we would start getting unrealistic expectations or deadlines and stuff like that uh, so say you know if some work needed to be done in 4 days or 5 days you know we would get a call in the evening and say that you know can you deliver it tomorrow uh, so it would become like an insider joke we would laugh at it and then you know uh, uh, try and convince them tell them come and sit in the studio see how much time it takes to render and things like that so i think uh, uh, you know from then to now is a huge difference now when you uh, work in the industry people are more uh, not all but by and large people are more well versed with how things are happening uh also uh, the way you do things keeps changing right so uh, because of which there is a certain need of people who understand the business uh, and execution side of uh, it uh, you know uh, fairly well uh so yeah and even back then you know uh, there were no i i know people who uh, you know studied film writing or, or directors or copywriters who ended up doing an mba simply because they wanted to you know start their entrepreneurial journey more than even looking at corporate jobs uh, uh, you know st start their own production houses and stuff like that to uh, you know give them an edge over the others and i think with this mba in the mne space uh, you know it it's it's great that it's happening and uh, you know it's just going to speed track the way uh, people approach things and get into the industry yeah so uh, that's that's where i think uh, you know it's going to give an advantage it's not only uh, like everyone here spoke about jobs it's also about uh, you know we are in an era where uh, uh, you know people are looking at entrepreneurship and uh, things like that uh, even for me like you know uh, when i started freelancing after moving out uh, of the studio i used to take projects up and i needed to work with a small team to make it happen uh, so i learned on the job i learned managing people i learned how to deal with them i learned about various things about how to pay them cutting their tax you know applying for gst xyz and things like that so uh, and at that point of time you know it was a fairly new learning curve for me because i before that all i did was i owned a technical skill and uh, a creative skill and i was concentrating on that so you know with courses like these if it empowers an individual to uh, you know push themselves to uh, you know get into the entrepreneurial side or even get into a company uh, well versed with their skill plus what it takes to manage people and 
see the most important thing about a manager is uh, he or she himself should know what the work consists of right you if unless and until you don't know how it goes you're not really going to be able to manage a team or manage people again you'll be in a position where you're going to expect unrealistic uh, things from them so i think overall it's a great idea for uh, you know an mba in the media and entertainment entertainment space and uh, yeah i'm looking forward to seeing uh, you know uh, some more change uh, in the space through uh, institutes like steam edu and uh, hopefully more who will follow and uh, you know take this path up yeah uh, i agree on that so uh, anup you have been working in a uh, toolbox for a very long time and uh, on a managerial management level at the toolbox so please tell us uh, if what is the need of a trained manager in the mna industry right uh, so mundar as i mentioned so uh once any newcomer or any any graduation he join as in production so he need to understand the pipeline on creative side and then it take time to understand the production thing right but if he train well so it will easy to uh, manage the project immediately so there are two uh, <clears throat> aspect in and i think one is the creative and one is the production management right so production management is a very crucial role because it is a bridge between client and the creative things so in uh, production you need to understand what is the project planning what is the execution then uh, you have to communicate with the client so if that person or that student understand this uh, terminology he will immediately uh, immediately merge with the uh, entire industry and in start working on it. so definitely if he has this uh, uh, training it will help him to uh, start his journey immediately so uh, we have a few requests from our students that are online uh, they want to understand few concepts in hindi uh, language so if it is comfortable to you all i would like to ask few questions that will clear up their mind so uh, this is to mr kenshu uh, so um, mba jab karte hai to wo kaun si kaun si skills develop karte hai students mein uh अगेन जैसे मैंने शुरुआत पे आपको बताया कि मैं कहानी शुरू करूंगा क्लासरूम से नहीं बल्कि उसके बाद जो चीज की उम्मीद रखते हैं वहां तक पहुंचेंगे तो सिंस यू नो बाय वर्चू मैं कॉर्पोरेट्स में भी ट्रेनिंग देता रहता हूं तीन चीज जो मैं शायद शॉर्टलिस्ट करना चाहूंगा जो आज के दिन पे प्रेजेंटली कोई भी इंडस्ट्री आप ले लीजिएगा एंड स्पेशली मीडिया इंडस्ट्री में जैसे अभी आई वॉज हियरिंग फ्रॉम पुनीत आई वॉज हियरिंग फ्रॉम आई सो कहीं ना कहीं पहला स्किल जो है जो इनएविटेबल है इज पीपल स्किल्स और पीपल मैनेजमेंट क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं आपको कम्युनिकेशन इंटरपर्सनल कम्युनिकेशन लोगों के साथ काम करना है शायद आपके नीचे लोग रहेंगे आपके ऊपर लोग रहेंगे आपके आसपास में लोग रहेंगे तो लोगों के बिना आप काम नहीं कर सकते हैं दैट इज नंबर वन नंबर टू बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है परसुएशन स्किल्स When I say skills, यानी कि convincing power आप में होना चाहिए क्योंकि आप कहीं पे भी क्लाइंट से बात करने जाते हो या फिर अपने इंटरनल एम्प्लॉय से बात करने जाते हो तो ये जो कन्विंसिंग वाली स्किल्स है जिसको हम कहते हैं परसुएशन स्किल्स ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट और बहुत मायने रखता है और तीसरी चीज जिसके बिना कोई भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन काम नहीं करता है इस प्रायोरिटाइजेशन स्किल्स ये हमारे खुद के निजी जिंदगी में भी अगर आप देखने की कोशिश करेंगे तो कहीं ना कहीं हम कहीं प्रायोरिटी से छूट जाते हैं तो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में तो ये और ज्यादा अहमियत रखता है क्योंकि वहां पे टाइम के हिसाब से काम करना है बजट के हिसाब से काम करना है तो ये जो टोटल प्रायोरिटाइजेशन स्किल्स है जब आपको प्रैक्टिकल एक्सपोजर दिया जाता है उससे ऑटोमेटिकली ये जो तीन स्किल्स की मिश्रण है मैं इसको एक शॉर्ट फॉर्म बनाया अभी आई वुड रादर कॉल दम एज द थ्री पीज तो मैं इसलिए तीन पी पे लेके आया है इसको पहला पी है हमारा पीपल स्किल्स दूसरा पी है परसुएशन स्किल्स और तीसरा पी है प्रायोरिटाइजेशन स्किल्स अगर ये तीन स्किल पे हम काम कर लेते हैं आई थिंक दैट इज फेयर नाफ और इसके बाद एक टॉप अप दूंगा मैं और एक पी का परसेप्शन को भी 
थोड़ा सा बिल्डअप करना है और जब मैं परसेप्शन की बात करता हूँ सिर्फ मेरा निजी व्यू पॉइंट नहीं बल्कि दूसरों के व्यू पॉइंट को किस तरीके से मैं इनकॉर्पोरेट कर सकता हूँ दूसरे के व्यू पॉइंट को किस तरीके से समझ सकता हूँ और एक साथ उसको ब्लेंड करके एक टोटल मैनेजमेंट की परस्पेक्टिव पे लेके आ सकता हूँ आई थिंक दैट इज वॉट इज ऑल डिजायर सो अनुप जेवा अपन बोलते एनालिटिकल थिंग्स शिकायचा असतात सो ए किती हेल्पफुल असतात अनालिटिक्स शिकण एका मॅनेजर पोझिशन साठी सो अनालिटिकल थिंग समजण्यासाठी ओबीसी इज इम्पॉर्टंट जस्ट फ्यू एक्झाम्पल्स मी देतो की कुठलाही प्रोजेक्ट आपण जेव्हा मॅनेज करतो तेव्हा प्रोजेक्ट डेडलाईन्स दॅट्स अ वन थिंग सेकंड थिंग रिसोर्स मॅनेजमेंट एक त्याच्यामध्ये प्रकार असतो तर रिसोर्स मॅनेजमेंट आणि टू बुक रिसोर्स किती आहेत माझे राईट रिसोर्स माझ्याकडे एवढे आहेत सो त्या रिसोर्सवरनं मी किती आउटपुट काढू शकतो राईट इंटरनल रिसोर्सेस किती आहेत आणि माझ्याकडे व्हेंडर्स किती आहेत सो ह्याचं जेव्हा माझ्याकडे कॅल्क्युलेशन्स असतील सो बेस्ट ऑन दॅट मी प्रॉपर प्रोजेक्ट मॅनेज करू शकतो सो हे जे बेसिक अनालिटिक्स आहेत दॅट इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट सो ते खूप सोपं पडतं जेव्हा आपण प्रोजेक्ट प्लॅन करतो वेन इट कम्स टू लाईक trained managers in the industry so what are the demands that are there in the industry that are upcoming in the media and entertainment industry when you call when you call someone a trained manager i mean it you can't fill that bucket it's a lifelong learning first and foremost uh what i'd like to start off with is a person who's graduating from the industry uh from the program rather uh he should have few points that will make him ready to go into the industry one is understanding what the industry is for if for example it's an mne so in mne there are two very important people one is the client the other is the creative people so if there is we are talking about the creative people what do they do uh, what kind of tools they work on so it is not required for a starting off or a new manager to know the all the creative tools but he or she should definitely know what they are and what they do and what is a realistic uh, timelines that are required to create a certain project especially in the industry that they would go to second is understanding what the client wants sometimes a client wants a few things but when we are trying to you know provide a solution we end up providing or we trying to overcome it ourselves because we want to win a bid or if you want to but maybe the client is not even looking at that so understanding the client requirement is also a very big uh, deal so as a new manager going into the mne space or in any other industry uh, understanding the business what it is what it does uh, uh, how much time does it take for production for post production either ways whether it's an mne or any other uh, having an understanding about that and obviously understanding the client requirement is i think for anybody who's starting off is we are we are good with that obviously basic skills like communication as you know kingshok already mentioned so i won't uh, touch base on that but yeah if i decide that okay i want to enter into maybe the banking industry then understanding what goes behind and what goes in front at least having a basic understanding would definitely help the student to uh, you know make the right choices सो पुनीत आपके लिए आप मीडिया एंड एंटरटेनमेंट इंडस्ट्री में काफी साल से काम कर रहे हो एज अ म्यूजिक प्रोड्यूसर एज अ मिक्सिंग रिकॉर्डिंग इंजीनियर एंड आपने कभी एम बी ए नहीं किया एम एन ई में सो इज इट डायर रिक्वायरमेंट और नीड या क्यों किसी ने एम बी ए इन मीडिया एंटरटेनमेंट करना जरूरी है आपके परस्पेक्टिव से आई थिंक ये थोड़े टाइम पहले मैंने बात किया था लाइक दस पंद्रह साल पहले ये कॉन्सेप्ट ही नहीं था यू नो इफ यू लुक एट अदर एम बी एज ऑल्सो आप देखोगे तो अभी काफी अलग अलग इंडस्ट्रीज में स्पेशलाइजेशन मिलता है एम बी ए में सो आई थिंक ये ग्रेजुअल प्रोसेस है इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ टाइम ऑल्सो ये एम एन ई इंडस्ट्री वॉज नॉट इतना स्ट्रीम लाइन नहीं था पहले जैसे अभी हो रहा है यू नो एन इट्स ओनली कॉन्ट गेट बेटर मैंने बोला जैसे इन माई यू नो पंद्रह सोलह साल के एक्सपीरियंस में मैंने काफी ट्रांजेक्शन देखा है एंड इट्स ओनली फॉर द बेटर एंड यू नो मैंने नहीं किया तभी बट सी इट्स 
कभी देर इज नॉट वन वे टू डू एनी थिंग राइट यू कैन यू नो यू एवरीबडी डीड टू स्टडी समथिंग टू बिकम एन एक्सपर्ट यू कैन इधर गो टू अलेज लर्न इट और उसको फास्ट ट्रैक कर सकते हैं या यू कैन लर्न ऑन द जॉब एंड डू इट ऑल्सो सो अगेन इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ प्रेफरेंस इंडिविजुअल को क्या चाहिए एंड लाइक दीप ऑल्सो एम्फोसाइज आप अगर मेरा रूट लोगे तो थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा बट ऐसा नहीं है कि नहीं होगा बट ऑब्वियसली विद द वे थिंग्स आर चेंज लाइक यू नो इंटरनेट पर इतना इंफॉर्मेशन है एंड आई पर्सनली फील के अभी वी आर नॉट लिविंग एन एन एरा वेर यू स्टडी वंस इन योर लाइफ एंड यू कैन कीप मेकिंग मनी फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ यू हैव टू कीप री इन्वेंटिंग योर सेल्फ यू हैव टू यू नो अडेप्ट यू हैव टू कीप अप स्किलिंग एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट एंड दैट इज समथिंग विच इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज फ्रॉम योर इट इज गोइंग टू हैपन दैट एवरी फाइव और सेवन ईयर्स और टेन ईयर्स हम लोग को ऐसा लगेगा कि हमको कुछ पढ़ना चाहिए चाहे हम आगे और बढ़ सके तो वो बदलने नहीं वाला है सो दैट इज समथिंग एल्स यू नो आई फील बट दीज आर माई पर्सनल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यूज एंड आई थिंक द एक्सपर्ट्स कैन इवन यू नो शेयर थॉट्स ऑन दिस सो अनूप जब हम बात करते हैं प्रोजेक्ट्स की इंटरनेशनल एक्सपोजर्स की सो एम बी एन एम एन ई करने के बाद उनको क्या किस तरीके का एक्सपोजर मिलेगा इंटरनेशनल इंडस्ट्री में ओके सुनो एनिमेशन और वी एफ एक्स इंडस्ट्री में भी देर इज लॉट ऑफ कंपनीज नाउ दे आर कमिंग टू इंडिया राइट सो कम्युनिकेट विद दम ओके फॉर द प्रोडक्शन परस्पेक्टिव तो डेफिनेटली द पाइपलाइन दे से उन्होंने ऑलरेडी जो सेट किया उसके ऊपर उनको कम्युनिकेशन करने के लिए एक तो इजी होगा दैट्स वन थिंग सेकंड थिंग इन प्रोडक्शन आस्पेक्ट विच आई मेंशन प्रीवियसली देर आर टू थ्री थिंग्स वन इज द प्रोजेक्ट प्लानिंग वन इज द प्रोजेक्ट डिलीवरी एंड रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट दैट इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड सेकंड थिंग बजटिंग और आउटसोर्स मैनेजमेंट सो ये सब जो चीज़ें हैं ये आपको कम्युनिकेट करने के लिए क्योंकि ये दिस इज डिफरेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन थिंग और इंटरनेशनली जब हम काम करते हैं बिकॉज दिस इज अ सेट पाइपलाइन फ्रॉम देयर साइड तो ये जब हम वहाँ पे काम करेंगे तो इजी होता है कम्युनिकेशन करने के लिए और अभी इंडिया में लाइक फॉक्स स्टूडियो है या आई है या घो स्टूडियो देर इज लॉट ऑफ वी एफ एक्स कंपनी कमिंग टू इंडिया ओके सो या कमिंग बैक टू मिस्टर केंगशु आपके लिए सो so, जब कोई एम बी एन एम एन ई करता है तो उसका कहना यही होता है कि जनरली मुझे जॉब सिर्फ एम एन ई में करना पड़ेगा या मैं कहीं और भी कर सकता हूँ या एम एन ई रिलेटेड इंडस्ट्री में ही मुझे कोई और डोमेन मिल सकता है क्या आई थिंक uh, जब मैंने डिस्कशन शुरू किया था तभी मैंने वहीं से ही शुरू किया था कि एक पर्टिकुलर लाइन पकड़ के हमें एम करना जरूरी है क्योंकि एटलीस्ट कहीं ना कहीं एक टेक्निकल बेस हमारा रहेगा और जहां तक एम का सवाल है जो क्रिएटिविटी आपको यहां से मिलने वाला है ये क्रिएटिविटी या क्रिएटिव थिंकिंग इन योर माइंड सेट शायद दूसरे कोई भी स्पेशलाइजेशन एम से नहीं आएगा मैं एक सिंपल एग्जाम्पल देना चाहता हूँ देखिये नॉर्मली आप एम क्या करते हो आप एम में या तो फिनेंस करते हो मार्केटिंग करते हो एच करते हो अब जब एच में जाओगे तो आप सिर्फ पीपल स्किल्स पे ज्यादा ओरिएंटेशन आएगा जब आप फिनेंस में जाते हो तो आप एनालिटिकल और टेक्निकल में इतना ज्यादा घुस जाते हो वहां पे कि कहीं ना कहीं वहां पे भी कुछ एक चीज की शॉर्टफॉल आ जाता है मार्केटिंग करोगे तो सिर्फ सेल्स की भाषा आपको समझ में आता है इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट ऑफ द एम एन इज ये जो क्रिएटिव साइड है और क्रिएटिव साइड को मैनेज करने के लिए भी आपको क्रिटिकल एनालिटिकल थिंकिंग लॉजिकल थिंकिंग इसकी जरूरत है तो जो ब्लेंड बनाया गया है इस कोर्स पे ये इतना बढ़िया तरीके से सेट हुआ है इन द कोर्स आई थिंक दैट इन इट सेल्फ डिफाइंस कि आज के दिन पे अगर कहीं पे भी आप यहाँ से बाहर जाओ कोई भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इनोवेशन और क्रिएटिविटी की तारीफ जरूर करते हैं कोई भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर दैट मैटर तो जहां तक क्रिएटिविटी का सवाल है आपके पहला जस्टिफिकेशन ये रहेगा कि मैं एम इसीलिए किया कि यू नो मैं क्रिएटिव बेंट ऑफ माइंड लेके आता हूँ और दूसरा अगर आप पूछोगे कि आप सिर्फ एम किया है एम नहीं किया है तो तब आप जस्टिफाई कर पाएंगे मैं एमबीए भी किया है उसी पे क्योंकि एमबीए से मैं आई हैव एक्चुअली ब्रॉट इन द एंटायर लॉजिकल एनालिटिकल थिंकिंग मार्केटिंग सेल्स एचआर सब कुछ मैंने सीखा है 
तो अब आप बताइए दैट्स हाउ द एंटायर ब्रांड ब्लेंड इज और एक भी इंडस्ट्री बताइए मेरे को जो लॉन्ग टर्म सस्टेनेंस के लिए वो इनोवेशन या क्रिएटिविटी पे थ्राइव नहीं करते हैं आई मीन देयर इज नो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर दैट मैटर व्हिच कैन आइडली फॉल इनटू दैट ब्रैकेट तो यू आर एक्चुअली क्रिएटिंग अ कंप्लीट यू नो लाइफ कोर्स फॉर यू by doing this blend because ideal candidate jabhi bhi hum hire karte hai koi bhi organization pe sabse pehle wahi dekhte ki kya iska left brain aur right brain dono mein balance hai kya nahi kyunki uski jo synchronization hai wo bahut zaruri hai aapke liye and it's a perfectly blended course which gives you a blend of both so uh, dilip ji uh, regular mba ke bare mein to kafi hota hai online pe but jab hum media and entertainment mba ki baat karte hai तो इनके एवरेज सैलरी पैकेजेस क्या होते हैं सो एवरेज सैलरीज वंस यू स्टार्ट ऑफ इन द इंडस्ट्री एनीथिंग अबव यू नो एट लैख टेन लैख एंड अबव बट सी आई मीन दैट्स अ वेरी दैट्स अ डिस्कशन दैट कैन हैपन यू नो ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एज टू यू नो व्हाट आर द स्किल्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द पर्टिकुलर सैलरी पैकेज आई मीन यू नो यूर यूर समबडी हु हैज फैंटास्टिक कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स एंड मैनेजरियल स्किल्स आपका स्टार्टिंग पैकेज वुड बी समथिंग टोटली डिफरेंट uh as to what you know the company needs so uh i mean i i personally this is my personal opinion again uh the whole discussion about salary package is an absolutely a non starter i would personally believe we should always ask the first question mujhe seekhne kya milega or what are the skills that i'm going to learn in this program are these skills uh, that i'm wanting to learn talk to my core values of who i want to become and is my program going to give me those particular skills secondly if i am really interested in those particular skills obviously i'm going to work hard to acquire those skills i'm going to learn i'm going to study aur usme mujhe maza bhi aayega jab main padunga when you become a skilled person and when i say skilled i do not mean ki you will be in very good in excel or you will be very good in a particular software or a tool or something as a skill a holistic development if i am somebody who's doing that companies will automatically see those things that they want in that particular person who spent years and years developing himself or herself so uh, salary packages yes jaise maine aapko bataya minimum to you know doing an mba ye hota hi hai but i in any discussion i would always recommend to focus on skill rather than worrying about the salary if you are ready to do the hard work i mean salaries would never be an uh, you know a concern but yes if somebody who's just want to do something for the heck of doing it uh, then yes then obviously then even these will not be applicable to them that i just mentioned so so as we all know that this degree has been provided by <laughs> ajinkya devi patel university so what is the role of cmedu when this degree is from a university perspective cmedu works in the education space where uh, uh, traditional universities or uh, programs that are unable to uh, bridge the gap between the industry especially when we come to mne side of things uh, in in universities the focus is uh, you know maybe towards engineering or you know mbas in hr and finances and they do a fantastic job there there are universities uh, that are you know uh, uh, providing these degrees and they are doing a very good job um, engineering ho gaya finance marketing uh, mbas bbas cmedu's role being a media expert being in the media industry for so many years we work with university we design programs that cater to these industries we bring in the industry experts we bring in uh, uh, as faculties or as workshops as guest sessions uh, the skill requirement the gear requirement the infrastructure requirement so our job is right from the admission to the placements cmedu is uh, involved with the students teaching them training them uh, giving them projects uh, uh, conducting the examinations as per the university uh, norms obviously this program will be run in ajinkya dy patel university so the students will always be AD, uh, ajinkya dy patel uh, students and we will be we are knowledge partners so we will be supporting the students throughout their journey right from day 1 every single day till the last day of their program and obviously till placements so uh, during this journey of the two years four semester course 
how many internships will the student will go through minimum two internships one at the end of first year once they complete and they enter the summer so we expect the students to do an internship during the summer and one during the fourth semester which is the last uh, semester but again internships are as i said these are mandated you cannot stop a student if he is if he or she is very much passionate into doing something so if the student wants to you know work with a certain company even during the program uh, apart from the hours of the program i think we'll definitely support those yeah so and uh, what kind of projects will they be working on during the course exactly so now this is something that i was waiting to answer uh there are two types of projects one which cater to the mba side of things research based case study based presentation based uh, you know because as a manager uh, you need to have skills to manage a team so there will be projects designed around managing people uh, there will be projects or presentations that will help them build their presentation or confidence to uh, talk to people uh, in a forum uh, and obviously there will be certain types of projects that will help them manage certain creative projects now that is this is the most unique uh, part so jaise anup ka team hai jo toolbox mein kaam karte hai aur any other vfx or uh, uh, animation ya media production mein so there are certain tools that they use say for example agar hum film banate hain uh, film mein right from script to the final uh, edit before release ek tool use kiya jata hai तो उस टूल वो टूल में हम काम नहीं करते बट दैट्स अ मोर प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट टूल सो दो स्किल्स विल आल्सो बी गिवन टू द स्टूडेंट्स पाइपलाइन मैनेजमेंट फॉर विजुअल इफेक्ट्स एंड एनिमेशन व्हिच इज अ मैसिव इंडस्ट्री तो उस टूल का ट्रेनिंग भी हम यहां पे देते हैं तो अगेन द टूल इज सिंपल बट हाउ टू गो अबाउट मैनेजिंग आर्टिस्ट द एसेट्स पाइपलाइन डेडलाइंस सो ये वाला जो सारा टास्क है ये वाला भी इस प्रोग्राम में हम सिखाएंगे सो ऑब्वियसली ट्रेडिशनल एमबीए के जो प्रोजेक्ट्स रहेंगे वो प्रेजेंटेशन स्किल्स दैट इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट एंड देन द क्रिएटिव प्रोजेक्ट्स इन फैक्ट अ लॉट ऑफ न्यू एज रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर मार्केटिंग मैनेजर्स इज टू डेवलप वेरी शॉर्ट वीडियोस फॉर एनी ब्रांड्स नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस इज ऑल द मार्केटिंग मैनेजर्स एंड ट्रेडिशनल एमबीए विल हैव टू uh outsource this to a creative individual or to somebody to create so in this mba we will focus on helping the students create their own content as well and that is why it is media production where we are not expecting them to make a film or to make a documentary we expect them to make shorter videos from marketing point of view from selling point of view to understand uh color theories and concepts if there is a brand that focuses on blue color why is that doing a market analysis why why this particular brand focuses on blue and how to create content that revolves around the color blue so ye wala training bhi and this is again connecting to the marketing side of things has nothing to do with mne at all so uh, overall agar hum sum up kare to uh, aapke hisab se sare panelist ke liye ye question hai ki uh, kaun good manager kehlata hai aur hum agar baat karte hai to <laughs> हम कैसे बन सकते हैं एक अच्छा मैनेजर सो लेट स्टार्ट विद मिस्टर किंग ओके आई वुड लाइक टू टेक ऑन फ्रॉम व्हाट डीप वाज मेंशनिंग लेट्स जस्ट गो थ्रू अ जर्नी एक जर्नी से गुजरते हैं से फॉर एग्जांपल आई एम श्योर अनूप विल बी एबल टू एम्फोसाइज दिस इन अ मच बेटर वे मान लेते हैं सबसे पहले हम जिस चीज पे माहिर है या हम जिस चीज के कोर कॉम्पिटेंसी होल्ड करते हैं तो उस एरिया पे हम प्रोजेक्ट्स लेना चाहते हैं तो सबसे पहला चीज तो आपको खुद को हाईलाइट करना पड़ेगा क्लाइंट्स के सामने कि बिजनेस तो ऐसे उठ के आएगा नहीं तो कहीं बिजनेस लाने के लिए आपको सबसे पहले यू हैव टू डू योर मार्केटिंग नंबर वन मार्केटिंग करके चलिए मैं बिजनेस लेके तो आया अब लेके आने के बाद एक बजट है मेरे हाथ पे उस बजट के अंदर मेरे को इस टोटल चीज को रन करना है टाइम डेड है जिसके अंदर मेरे को इसको रन करना है कौन से बेस्ट एक्सपर्टीज को मैं यहाँ लगाऊंगा और किस तरीके से मैं प्रॉफिट कमाते हुए इस टोटल प्रोजेक्ट को हैंडओवर करूंगा टू द क्लाइंट जहां आखिर में एटलीस्ट आई गेट अ क्लाइंट सेटिस्फैक्शन ऑफ अ फाइव आउट ऑफ फाइव बिकॉज हमें रिपीट बिजनेस भी चाहिए वहां से तो ये जो टोटल चीज है इस टोटल चीज को अगर हम समेटना चाहते हैं ये कोई अकेले एक टेक्निकल बंदे का काम है नहीं यहाँ पे 
तो दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वेर एक मैनेजर की जरूरत है क्योंकि एक टोटल प्रोजेक्ट को लेके आने में किसी का यू नो एक्सपर्टीज होगा उसको एग्जीक्यूट करके आखिर तक पहुंचा के फिर प्रॉफिट पोस्ट करके और प्रॉफिट को एनालाइज करना आई थिंक दैट इज नॉट समथिंग व्हिच इज अ जॉब ऑफ जस्ट अ मेयर ग्रेजुएट और अ टेक्निकल पर्सन सो दिस इज बेसिकली वेयर अगर आप पूछोगे कि एमबीए मीडिया एंटरटेनमेंट क्यों चाहिए आई थिंक दिस इज वेयर हो द होल क्रॉक्स इट एंड सी द अमाउंट ऑफ बिजनेस इनफ्लक्स दैट इज हैपनिंग स्पेशली इन द मीडिया एरिया आज कोविड के वजह से पिछले दो साल पे मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द बिजनेस इज एक्चुअली शिफ्टेड ऑन अ वर्चुअल प्लेटफॉर्म एंड वर्चुअल प्लेटफॉर्म मतलब आपको कहीं ना कहीं खुद की जो हाईलाइटिंग है खुद की जो प्रोजेक्शन है जैसे अभी दीप वॉज मैंशनिंग की स्मॉल वीडियोज आई मीन इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग इवन अ रेज्यूमे हैज ऑल्सो बिकम अ वीडियो रेज्यूमे सो अ लॉट ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इवन एनकरेजिंग अ वीडियो रेज्यूमे सो कहीं ना कहीं मीडिया की प्रयोग हर जगह पे है और मान लीजिएगा आप अगर एक मार्केटिंग मैनेजर हो जो मीडिया की बैकग्राउंड से आते हैं आपके पास अगर कंप्लीट ये एक्सपर्टीज है कंपनी के लिए इट इज रियल ग्रेट एसेट so that is that is how the whole focus should be anup aap ke views is point pe yeah as a manager obviously uh, he already touched on that as soft skill right we understand the people first right the people means the client side as well as the internal team so it's a good manager who does have the skill set to understand the people and based on that he manage the production which is most helpful i give you some small example <clears throat> uh if we schedule one uh, project and which deadline is for example on 10 right and for the some reason creative team is not able to deliver on the time so this manager responsibility to communicate with the client before the time like 8 or 9 and he communicate with the client with a proper manner where we are not able to deliver this project on 10 maybe it required one day more or two day more so obviously client is also prepare of that it is not getting on time but he also understand the people or that team is working on his project so this communication is most important and that's how the manager rules so uh aapke liye ye question hai so challenges to hote honge so toolbox ke paas kya challenges aaye the jab right resources ki hum baat karte hai production ya marketing uh, side mein सो प्रोडक्शन साइड पे एक तो kabhi hum hire karte hai production side pe to unko ek to training टाइम ज्यादा जाता है सेकंड थिंग इन प्रोडक्शन आल्सो देयर इज अ अ वन स्किल सेट और इट्स लाइक प्रोड्यूसर तो वहां पे दो तीन चीजें तो एक है शो प्रोड्यूसर और एक होता है कंप्लीट एंटायर प्रोजेक्ट का एक प्रोड्यूसर होता है सो so, उसमें आपको टेक्निकल स्किल्स भी मालूम होने चाहिए आपको फाइनेंस uh, भी मालूम होना चाहिए आपको प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी मालूम होना चाहिए तो ये जो स्किल सेट है क्रिएटिव आस्पेक्ट से वहां पे थोड़ा सा स्ट्रगल होता है तो देर इज लॉट ऑफ रिक्वायरमेंट एज अ प्रोड्यूसर और शो प्रोड्यूसर सो प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट इज थिंग एंड द प्रोड्यूसिंग दैट थिंग यू हैव टू टेक एंटायर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ दैट प्रोजेक्ट वेर इट कम्स पीपल मैनेजमेंट दैन द फाइनेंस मार्केटिंग दैट थिंग एंड डिलीवर द प्रोजेक्ट सो दिस आस्पेक्ट वेर इज अ मैक्सिम रिक्वायरमेंट इन द मार्केट एंड या करंटली ऑल्सो स्ट्रगल टू गेट दैट काइंड ऑफ स्किल सेट एंड आई गेस वील डेफिनेटली गेट Uh, this after if someone has this kind of background uh, in the mba so he definitely fit in that role deep up i think i just wanted to add on yeah. what anup was mentioning that uh, and again connecting to the point of you know uh, good manager uh, i think one is uh, as uh, anup was also mentioning that you know deadlines hai challenges hai so i think a person or a manager a good manager if i may say has to be ready for challenges problems are a part of our lives right and every project you talk about finance banking hr marketing mne regardless of industry there are going to be problems but is the attitude that would make a difference that my job here is as a manager is to solve these problems that come on a day to day basis so a person who is ready comes to office not with an attitude ki yaar ab ek naya problem aa gaya ab main kya karu that is absolutely not the attitude that okay we have a problem at hand let's try to solve this that's one secondly uh, as again anup was mentioning the fact that things are changing and you know and puneet was also in, uh, uh, highlighted this point a good manager should always be ready to learn maine aaj ye course complete kar liya 2 saal ka mba i am done now ab main agle 10 saal maine jo seekha hai wahi main karunga that does not work in this industry anymore 
every single day every single year some form of learning some form of growth has to happen at a, a personal level so that is very important and third uh, being a manager you cannot work alone it is a team play mm-hmm. so being a team player uh, you know uh, encouraging the team uh, unko grow karana unko aage karna for the work for uh for all the good that has happened in the work or agar koi challenge hoga to apne aap ko aage karna to solve you know these challenges so definitely being a team player becomes very important and especially in uh industries like visual effects where you know you're working with massive teams and teams that are not sitting in the same office ki yaar chalo problem aa gaya main ja ke uske cubicle mein ja ke baat kar lu aur solve kar lu no it talks it it has to do with you know doing virtual meetings uh writing an email in a way which kind of solves the problem and not creates further more because uh written communication is also quite uh, difficult thank you so much for sharing such insightful and interesting thoughts i'm sure other students must have enjoyed this session as much i did now is the time to take up questions from our online and offline students so uh we have received a lot of queries from the students we would uh cover up a lot of questions but yeah if you miss out of anything we would be replying to you via your emails so i request everyone on the call to put their email ids and contact details in the chat box so that uh, we can connect to you later with all your queries if we couldn't solve it in the time so first question uh, i am a very keen observer uh, observer of the media products but not very good at the technical side can i still take up this course uh so i would take that question see if some student or someone is very keen on the media side of things has shown a general interest but may not be technically sound may not be a photographer may not be a script writer may not be a cinematographer may not have ever even you know done some technical product uh uh technical work the program does not teach the technology of hand you know of uh, making a film it teaches us it teaches the students basic life skills to handle a small form of media projects at the same time the program helps in observing bigger media projects say for example a film production because we have a filmmaking team we have a visual effects team uh, let's assume a setup like this where there is a multi cam uh, uh, setup uh, we do a planning we do the requirements uh, we do dry run test runs so the students become a part of these projects and then they learn uh, how these small to big setups are created so it's not necessary that they have to create but they have to know how things work and they will be given an exposure towards uh, these projects that will also help them to kind of build the pro, uh, build their uh, portfolio around it and if that is something that they really want to do then obviously certain media skills will also be provided to them but these are skills that are not very complicated or very technical in nature these are skills that uh, i think even a uh, school children today they create you know as a part of their project submissions for school so not very highly technical but very much required in today's age so uh, what are your opinions beyond like uh, after doing mba uh, like taking a technical education and then going for mba like how does it affect after completion of this course it's definitely going to uh, you know any form of education and knowledge is going to be uh, you know useful and it's only going to strengthen uh, uh, you know what you bring to the table at any in any circumstances but uh, it's not a deal breaker i i feel you know you can always keep learning and it's good to be self aware right and i think uh, uh, that is something when you manage uh, people also you learn a lot about uh, yourself at least that's what happened to me like i've i'm more self aware now than i was um, maybe 7 8 years ago and uh, uh, it's we don't need to know everything i think uh, as long as we acknowledge that you don't know this you can always find ways to fill that gap and that is something which will come with experience and maturity and uh, you know uh, things like that uh, so uh, you know there are a lot of interesting concepts in uh, mba which uh, you guys will learn about uh, 
you know understanding yourself understanding uh, so i think it's uh, it's it's a great starting point and yeah you don't need to know everything because uh, you know one life is too short to learn everything so whatever you know uh, even if you know those three things it's about how you apply those three things to uh, you know get better at what you do and get better with uh, you know the entire team and the company so it's not how much you know it's about what you know and how you apply it i guess one of our online students wanted to us know more about data analytics mba in data analytics so kingship sir okay so basically uh, we are entering into an era of data jahan pe you know there is abundance of data har jagah pe data hi data hai but the problem ye hai data analytics isliye aa raha hai because kahin na kahin sahi data kahan se mine karna hai kaun sa data हमारे काम के है बिकॉज फिजूल के डेटा हम यू नो वी आर ऑल बम्बॉर्डेड विद डेटा सो फिजूल के डेटा पे अगर आप टाइम वेस्ट करोगे अगेन मेरा वही प्रायोरिटाइजेशन स्किल आता है यहाँ पे तो सबसे पहला चीज है डेटा को सही डेटा जो मेरे काम का है उसको एक्सट्रैक्ट करना है वहां पे नंबर वन फिर उसके बाद उस डेटा के ऊपर इनसाइट्स निकालना है इनसाइट्स निकालना है यानी कि जो पिछले यू नो साल हुआ था या फिर जो उसके और भी दो चार साल पुराना डेटा है हमारे उसके बेसिस पे कुछ तो सीख है सो बेसिकली आई एम नॉट यू नो यूजिंग सर्टन टेक्निकल टर्म्स बट आइडियली जिसे हम कहते हैं कि डिस्क्रिप्टिव डेटा को स्टडी करते हैं और उस डिस्क्रिप्टिव डेटा से आगे चल के कहीं एक प्रेडिक्टिव डेटा निकालते हैं तो प्रेडिक्टिव डेटा का मतलब ये है कि जो पुराने चीज हमने सीखा उससे आगे क्या प्रोडिक्शन कर सकते हैं तो देखिए अब कोई भी इंडस्ट्री आप ले लो वहां पे आज के दिन पे एनालिटिक्स के बिना आप काम नहीं कर सकते हो इवन मीडिया इंडस्ट्री पे भी यू आर वर्किंग विद एनालिटिक्स क्योंकि द होल सिस्टम इज विद बिजनेस एनालिटिक्स सो यू आर एक्चुअली लुकिंग एट व्हाट यू हैव डन कैसा आपका प्रोजेक्ट परफॉर्मेंसेस था पहले उससे हमने क्या क्या चीज रिट्रीव किया है उस डेटा को यूज करते हुए आगे की प्रोडिक्शन कर रहा हूँ और जब नया टारगेट आएगा मेरे सामने उस नया टारगेट के हिसाब से हमें किस तरीके से एक्ट करना पड़ेगा दैट इज द थर्ड फेज ऑफ बिजनेस एनालिटिक्स व्हिच इज आइडियली कॉल्ड एज प्रेस्क्रिप्टिव एनालिटिक्स तो तीन एनालिटिक्स के बीच में हम नॉर्मली घूमते हैं और इसी के बीच में थोड़ा सा नंबर्स से जगलिंग करना पड़ता है आज अगर कोई कहते कि मैं एम करना चाहता हूँ बट नंबर से मेरे को प्यार है ही नहीं आई थिंक ये मतलब नंबर्स को अपनाना ही पड़ेगा क्योंकि हर जगह पे नंबर्स है हर जगह पे डेटा है तो आपको डेटा के साथ काम करना ही पड़ेगा नहीं तो फिर आप खुद को जस्टिफाई नहीं कर पाओगे इन टर्म्स ऑफ टॉप मैनेजमेंट क्योंकि टॉप मैनेजमेंट के सामने सिर्फ एक ही सवाल है दे विल अंडरस्टैंड ओनली वन लैंग्वेज विच इज रुपीज और डॉलर तो क्या आप जो भी काम करते हो उसको रुपीज या डॉलर पे रूपांतर करके बता सकते हो हाँ या ना तो अगर ये चीज करना है तो कहीं ना कहीं आपको एनालिटिक्स के साथ जुड़ना ही पड़ेगा अनुप आपके लिए ये क्वेश्चन है सो थोड़ी देर पहले हमने चैलेंजेस डिस्कस किए हायरिंग के लिए बट अगर किसी को ऐसे मैनेजर रोल के लिए जॉब चाहिए तो आप किस तरीके का कैंडिडेट एक्सपेक्ट करोगे आपके पास आने के लिए ओके okay, तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज अ पर्सन वो कैसा होगा राइट right? उसके सॉफ्ट स्किल कहने का तरीका कैसा है डज ही अंडरस्टैंड अदर पर्सन डज ही गुड लिसनर राइट That is most important. अगर आप जैसे दीप ने कवर किया कि क्लाइंट ब्रीफ इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं अगर आप क्लाइंट ब्रीफ अच्छी तरह से लिसन नहीं करोगे उनको क्या चाहिए एंड यू कैनॉट मैनेज प्रॉपर प्रोजेक्ट सो दैट इज मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट सो टेक्निकल स्किल डेफिनेटली वी कैन ट्रेन दम ऑन द प्रोडक्शन साइड बट सॉफ्ट स्किल इज ऑल्सो मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट सो वी सी सॉफ्ट स्किल हाउ इज गुड लिसनर और हाउ इज अ पर्सन हाउ अंडरस्टैंड अदर पर्सन दैट इज मोर इम्पोर्टेंट प्लस he also understand where he need to learn more right because every person need to learn in his life step by step right so that we see in any candidate when he join as a manager so kafi questions hai jo uh, course related and process related hai to deep aap ke liye so uh, iska is course ke liye selection process kya hoga agar kisi ko admission leni hai so selection process is very simple uh, Obviously, if they understand the course, एक बार कोर्स समझ आता है उनको देन वी हैव विजुअल इंटरव्यू और विडियो इंटरव्यू विद अ कैंडिडेट एंड विद पैनल एंड द पैनल वॉन्ट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड द बैकग्राउंड क्यों करना चाहते हैं ये कोर्स स्कूल कॉलेज में ऐसा कोई उन्होंने रोल या स्किल शो केस किया है दैट काइंड ऑफ uh you know showcases their talent as a, either a manager or a problem solver so yeah these are simple things that we'd like to understand of the student so uh 
what is the eligibility criteria to get the scholarship that CMEDU and AD5U is offering? So the scholarship is again uh, on case to case basis based on the profile of the students. So again, this will be uh, judged and analyzed in the the interview, the video interview that we conduct. So now this question is to Puneet. Does grade matters in MBA? Yeah, I think grade grades matter everywhere, right? Like uh, it shows your dedication towards what you're doing. So uh, I think try and keep, uh, you know, uh, perform to the best of your capabilities. But yeah, it's not the uh, end of it all. There are people who don't get good grades and still do well in life. But uh, yeah, I mean, always try and keep your grades up. And uh, Someone wants to know, what is the scope of MBA in IT? IT is, again, a pretty exhausted area. Let me be very frank on it. So, mm -hmm. again, just as, you know, you're talking about, okay, there are a lot of technical people who are going in and a lot of people who are uh, evolving as software engineers and then, you know, getting a job into an IT field. Again, there was a specific requirement. What they're, again, lacking there is they lack that managerial skill. Well, just course, we come back again to that same thing. Her ek industry may kahi na kahi ek kami ki mehsus hai. And IT industry may be wahi same kami ki mehsus hai. So basically, ab now try and understand the moment a person who is you know, catering to an IT uh, MBA is again has a passion or a liking to a IT MBA. So kahi na kahi wo IT mein uska liking tha, to wahan se jaake wo fir IT industry mein aur jada specialize karna chaate hai. Ya fir MBA leke kahi na kahi us IT skills ke upar wo apne MBA ko aage leke chalna chaate hai. So that's basically where the whole thing is. Aise, that's, that's basically the reason where jitne bhi, uh, you know, industries hai. Aaj sare industries are becoming extremely segregated in themselves. Aur har ek ki jo requirement hai, wo they actually started realizing ki humare industry mein, agar customized MBA hota hai, to it can definitely give me a much, much better perspective as compared to a generic MBA. So I think her ek ko career decision lete vakt, ye zaroor sochna chahiye ki, मेरा कितना पैशन है मेरा कितना ओरिएंटेशन है अगर इनके थोड़ा सा लगाव है आपको कोई एक पर्टिकुलर इंडस्ट्री के तरफ तो डेफिनेटली उसके मैक्सिमम लेवल तक यानी कि उसके मैनेजरियल लेवल तक खुद को तैयार करना एक बहुत बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है आपके करियर डेवलपमेंट में या थैंक यू सो मच लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर दीप लाइक ये फर्स्ट ईयर है इस कोर्स का सी मेड्यू जो कर रही है तो placement uh, partners ya companies kaise aap determine karoge so uh, though it is a first year of mba at uh, cmedu but cmedu has been in existence in the last 14 years uh, we've got our diploma programs we've got our degree programs uh, and in fact we also you know previously had a masters program and we currently also run couple of other masters program in our other campuses so as far as the placements are concerned, we've got we are working with partners like Baiju's, White Hat Juniors, and companies like these that are now recruiting in bigger numbers from us. Uh, but these are more on the technical side of things. As far as MBAs are concerned, we talk to the similar companies, and uh, we are going to build a, a portfolio of these students who can go and start working with these companies as time moves ahead. We have a question offline from our student. Uh, basically, after MBA, like in media production, we MBA karne ke baad, hum project management mein job kar sakte hai. First question and second question is that if we are MBA for two years, a full-time course. So, uh, offline MBA or online MBA, what is the difference? Shabai, please. Yeah. So, I will repeat for my online students. So, in the question of offline MBA or online MBA, what is the difference? And the second question is production MBA. So, what is production management? So, I want to give you the second question. That offline MBA or online MBA is the difference between the two years. In the past two years, there was no उपाय नहीं था। तो that's the reason where the entire industry actually had to go for an offline MBA। but अगर इन केस आप मेरे से पूछोगे, MBA का main crux है peer learning। जैसे मैं आपको बता रहा था पहले, 
कि एक क्लास की कॉम्पोजिशन आप समझने की कोशिश करो जहां हर एक कहीं ना कहीं एक अलग अलग बैकग्राउंड से आ रहा है तो जब तक मैं वहां इन पचास साठ बच्चों के साथ इंटरेक्ट नहीं करूंगा सबके अलग अलग व्यू पॉइंट नहीं सुनूंगा एक दूसरे से टकराव होना है कॉन्फ्लिक्ट होना है नेगोशिएट करना है आई मीन लाइफ स्किल्स तो यहीं से है ऑनलाइन में बैठ के हम कैसे एम कर सकते हैं जब यू नो ऑफलाइन की एक टोटली डिफरेंट एनरिचिंग एक्सपीरियंस है तो ऑफलाइन पे आप टेक्निकल चीज सीख पाओगे ज्यादा से ज्यादा बट जहां तक आपकी लाइफ स्किल्स का सवाल है दैट कैन ओनली हैपन जब आपके सामने लोग हैं आप लोगों से इंटरेक्ट कर रहे हो यू नो यू आर लिसनिंग टू लेक्चर यू आर एबल टू इंटरेक्ट एंड आस्क क्वेश्चन एम की कोई अहमियत ही नहीं है वेन यू आर एक्चुअली डूइंग इट इन दैट वे अगर इनकेस कोई बहुत एक्सपीरियंस किसी ने हासिल कर लिया एक्सपीरियंस के बाद उनके पास अभी क्लासरूम में बैठने का टाइम नहीं है इन सच अ केस दे कैन डेफिनेटली यू नो हैव टू टेक द ऑनलाइन एमबीए बिकॉज वो अपने टाइम के हिसाब से उसको कंप्लीट करना चाहते हैं बट किसी के ग्रेजुएशन लेवल के बाद इमिजिएटली अगर आप मेरे से पूछोगे हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी परसेंट माई रिकमेंडेशन इज दैट यू शुड डेफिनेटली डू अफलाइन एम बी आते हैं आपके सेकेंड क्वेश्चन पे जहां तक प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट आई मीन जो आप यहाँ पे सीख रहे हैं वो प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट ही है So, एक तरीके से इस चीज को एक छोटा प्रोजेक्ट के तौर से अगर देखा जाए और इस प्रोजेक्ट को लेके अगर मैं आगे चलता हूं कहीं पे भी कोई भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पे इवन एक आईटी का ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पे लेट मी टेक एन एग्जांपल अब यहाँ पे जैसे फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग टिल द एंड एंड टू एंड एग्जीक्यूशन जो आप कर रहे थे जो चीज आप एम में सीख रहे हो यहाँ पे इट इज एग्जैक्टली द सेम वे जो कल अगर आप आई कंपनी में जाओगे प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर भी वही करता है प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर के पास प्रोजेक्ट उठा के यू नो वो लेके आते हैं उस प्रोजेक्ट को कैसे चलाना है टीम को कैसे चलाना है बजट को कैसे मैनेज करना है तो दैट्स एवरीथिंग इज द सेम सिर्फ शायद काम के तरीका थोड़ा सा ऊपर नीचे हो सकता है बट मैनेजमेंट की जो बेसिक क्रक्स है वो कहीं पे चेंज नहीं होने वाला है सो दैट्स ऑलमोस्ट रिमेन द सेम सो टाइम कंस्ट्रेंट्स के कारण वी विल बी कटिंग शॉर्ट द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सेशन सो थैंक यू सो मच एवरीवन फॉर बीइंग हियर ऑल माय द पैनलिस्ट एंड ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव कम अप ऑफलाइन एंड ऑनलाइन फॉर दिस वेरी वंडरफुल डिस्कशन सेशन ऑन management conclave with the industry partners and thank you king shuk sir thank you dilip astani thank you anup and yeah. thank you punit for being with us and sharing your expertise and knowledge with all the participants and the students uh, yeah hope to see you again and again for such amazing talks and discussions in the near future thank you thank, thank you so you. much thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you.